Hi everyone, my name is L'Oreal and welcome back to 2022. I'm so excited to be back making videos for you guys and I thought we'll start off with a very simple basic video and that is to show you guys what I do for my makeup. So to start off with we can jump right into that. Um, I will kind of show you what I have and yeah, we'll just start putting it on. And um, before I jump into that, I just wanted to ask you guys if you would like, go give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. It will really help out my channel and all of that. And also follow me on TikTok at L'Oreal ASMR. That will also be linked in my social media link tree in the bio. And I also have a Patreon. So if you want to get custom content, if you have a specific trigger that you would like to see more of or you haven't seen me do yet and it really helps you out, be sure to let me know on my, on my Patreon and I'll be more than happy to make a video for you. I have left the window open because it is so stuffy it's really hot it's somewhat and i'm wearing a jumper look at me go and um my neighbors are quite loud so and it's also windy as well which is great um but there are some birds outside which should be relaxing all right started with the makeup that's what you're all here for so i usually go for a more natural look um but today i decided that i want to put some eyeliner on and up breaking the apps so about been wearing makeup um over the past day or so so what can i do uh so what i usually start off with is concealer uh, this is the concealer that i use which is the maybelline new york fit mix concealer I don't know what it's called, but it's like scratched off, but it's from Maybelline, New York. And I've got like a little mirror here that will kind of guide me. So if you see me look down there, that's why. And I'm going to quickly put this on. So the way I put on my concealer, there is different techniques people do, but this is the way I do it. So if I have any blemishes, on my face, I kind of spot treatment around it. I don't know what the word is called. I have a lot, a lot of blemishes today. Um, yeah, my skin over the past week or so hasn't been that great because of my lady days. <laughs> I don't know how I have to sugarcoat that, but yeah. Um, so because of that, my skin hasn't been amazing. Uh, but it should settle down over the next week or so. But for the meantime, I'll just do that. See, that's a lot of spots I have to cover up. And I do some underneath my eyes to give it a bit of like a lift. So I kind of do a dash here and a dash up here. And I do the same on the other side and I usually do one straight down my nose <laughs> I look ridiculous at this point and I kind of just angle them towards my eyebrows like that and for my eyebrows I go do do and same on the other side so do do and that helps shape my eyebrows and that's basically it for that and now I get a wet sponge which I've wetted prior to like filming this and I just dab under my eyes I used to rub it in but um this was before I knew that you could just wet your sponge um so as you can see it like blends it in really well and all that Tap, 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 tap. Sometimes I just still rub it in because I'm lazy. So tap, tap, tap. Like that. And 
I do up top of my eyebrows. I usually wear something to like push my hair out the way, but I don't have that today. Um, by all means, I'm not a makeup professional, as you already may have noticed. Um, I just do this for fun. I like putting on makeup. It's fun to do. But I don't really wear it too often. Like, my past several videos, I haven't really worn makeup because it just takes too long. The reason I'm doing it today is because I thought it would be a good video idea. And, yeah. Yeah, I usually go natural, so that's my secret, I guess. <laughs> Gonna probably do because I'm lazy. I just dab in, ignore my neighbours. If I start construction, I'm gonna lose my marbles. The other week they were doing some, the, I mentioned they were like constructing a back porch, which I accidentally called a friend, of alfresco, sorry, not Francesco, alfresco. Um, no, it was just a porch. Um, and yeah, like it was drilling on the day I wanted to film. And I got so mad, but there was a moment of silence where I could film one video on that day. And she, it was my, what was it? It was my eat with me video. So yeah, I look so pale in the viewfinder. I, I promise I'm not. I'm not as pale in real life. It's just, yeah. I, I literally went to the beach and tanned a bit, but whatever it happens. Um. Anyway. Anyway, the next up uh, product that I use is the Rimmel London blush. I've had this blush for so long, like years, like I've had it since I was about 15, which should I update my blush? Yes. Is it out of date? Most likely. I should probably get a new one, but this one has served me for many, many years. It still works and I still wear it. I think people who are like, who always update their makeup are like beauty gurus or like makeup artist because they kind of have to because I put on different people's faces and stuff but I think like just if you're like a regular person you'd be lying if you said you changed your makeup every like six months because that's just too much money anyway enough about hygiene stuff <laughs> just open this and I use this brush to apply my blush And there we go, so I kind of just... I feel like a celebrity doing like those, is it Vanity Fair? And it's like where they're like in their bathroom and they show their makeup tutorial. And I feel like I'm a celebrity doing that, like I'm like Doja Cat or, um, or, or that girl from Squid Games. Do you remember when that was a thing? Oh my god. I legit... Like, the way how big Squid Games was going, I legit thought that it was going to be, like, the next Hunger Games. Like, that, like, sort of genre, like, the dystopian kind of genre was going to come back. And I was ready for it because I was obsessed with, like, the Hunger Games, Divergent. I never got into Twilight. Really strange. I... Briefly watched it very, 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 very briefly on my 21st party a couple of weeks ago with my friends. Um, it was painful to watch. There's scenes in it where, like, I'm thinking, why did that have to be included? Like, it, it could have done not being in the film and it still would have been a decent film. But no, it was included. Yeah, didn't really like it. It was boring and long we didn't even get to finish all of it either because people wanted the music back and we were using the back stereo for it so yeah um from what i saw so far 
I'd rate Twilight, I'd say like a two, maybe like a one out of ten. And um, I mean, there are so many film techniques that went super wrong. <laughs> um, there was this one scene where, um, what, what, what's Taylor Lautner's character's name? I forgot, I'm just going to call him Taylor. Um, where he like closes like a door and then like you see like the first shot of him closing turning around and it cuts to the next shot he's closing it again and I'm like how could the editor let that happen like yeah anyway anyway next what I use is I think I'm gonna go straight to the eyes and like I said I usually go natural um but today I've got my eyeliner here because I want to like attempt this eyeline trick that I did a while ago which I really liked I'll put a photo here I looked really good and um yeah I want to try that again see what I did to make it go like that because my graduation apparently is coming up in April so I, I want that sort of makeup look for my grad and yeah I now I'm filling in my eyebrows. I, I'm European, so I'm Southeast European, so I naturally have thick, dark eyebrows, which has been a blessing and a curse my entire life. Um, the curse side is when I was younger in primary school, I used to get made fun of having bushy eyebrows for people who I considered friends because they were like Anglo-English, had barely any hair, um, or if they did it was blonde hair and it wasn't very noticeable so they had little to no eyebrows and that was back in the day, this was early 2000s, so like thin pencil eyebrows or just like no eyebrows at all were like the in thing um, and yeah I, I felt hairy, <laughs> I was like oh I've got so much hair and all that um and then early 2010s maybe even before that uh the the model Clara Delavine I think her name was she comes into the team with her thick eyebrows and everyone's like oh my god she's so hot and that's when thick eyebrows starting to take off and I'm like purr <laughs> girl look at me with my thick ass bushy ass eyebrows now and everyone was like obsessed they're like what do you do with your eyebrows and I'm like it was funny because like a year ago you called me monobrow it's very strange that you wanting my advice so I basically I'm just like I don't know it's genetics and um now thinner eyebrows are becoming a thing again but I think as well that people are becoming more inclusive of different looks as well so it's not just going to be thin like Italian Vogue look um <laughs> like Italian Vogue 2010 America's Next Top Model that shows problematic in all of its areas as well <laughs> which I could make a whole video on but I probably won't because I'll bore myself to death I recently finished season 22 um because on Netflix they only have season 21, season 22, and like when I press play, it jumps right to 22, and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll watch it. Um, I want to talk about it a bit, so if you haven't watched it yet, uh, I suggest skipping like a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, so I'm only briefly going to talk about it. Uh, winner, I'm happy, Niall won. It's Niall or Neil, I don't know. I, I, okay, I swear I went through, through like a Mandela effect because I swear to God at the start of the season his name was Neil and then it, at the end it was Niall. I have to rewatch but, oh, oh, unless I'm in another universe now. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. No, but all in all I'm really happy that he won. How? Excuse me. Um, sorry, my products are going a bit crazy. Um, I'm really happy that he won, uh, especially he was able to like represent the deaf community and all that. Um, like I don't know anyone who's deaf or anything like that, so there's nothing, and like I'm obviously not deaf, so there's nothing like for me to relate to him about. But I found his story really inspiring, and yeah, 
Um, he also, like, has, like, this classical look, which has been told, like, um, one of the contestants were like, he's a ladies' man, he's a man's man, he's a mum's man, he's a dad's man. Like, he has, like, that look where if he lived for, like, another 100 years and, like, he didn't age whatsoever, he would still be booking jobs because he just has that look as a model. Um, yeah, and I totally agree. So, like, I think him winning was, like, a good choice and not not because he was deaf, he ha- he has a disability and, like, it's, like, a sort of, um, like, like, like a, oh, I feel bad for you, I'm gonna give you this win, like, he, he, like, has that look, that kind of work, so it makes sense for him to win, so, yeah, that's that. Next up, I have my eyeliner. I said I was gonna talk about ANTM very shortly and that went longer than I expected, but we'll all right i need to focus on this so once i get this done i'm gonna talk to you guys again okay my eyeliner is done not the best job that i've done but the more i practice the better it's gonna get but it's not the worst i could go out like this so it works out uh next i do my eyelashes i usually wear like the false lashes um but today i I don't want to waste them, so I'm just going to put some mascara on. I don't think I even need to curl my lashes, um, because the eyeliner kind of does it for me, um, so I'm just going to quickly apply that. Okay, they look a little bit crusty dusty, but like it's fine, we'll ignore that. Um yeah, sorry, I was so quiet the past minute or so because um I <laughs> was doing eye makeup I'm always just so focused on it. I'm gonna have a little drink break, so I encourage you to drink some water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> uh next oh I found a stray eyelash here of like There we go, I'm going to put that there, because I'll throw it out later. Um, Oh, forgot I got some bronzer. I've been wanting to get bronzer for a while because I have tried using contour before and it's just never worked out so I'm going to quickly open this and see big it is. This is from Sports Girl, so 
I've got some of their makeup, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, I'm gonna try their bronzer. I don't know why I had a need to smell that. I was like thinking maybe it'll have a scent to it. So I'm gonna put on this bronzer like how I put on contour, so Mm-hmm. Look at that jaw. I like how subtle it is. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it. I think it is. <gasps> I love how subtle. Oh, it makes my jawline look snatched. And I'll put some up here, so I'll do like a three. Look at that. I love how it, like on this side, it's like kind of bland. This side's snatched. Alright, see so this side now. bit more heavier than the sides. Okay, I can fix it. Look at my jawline right there. That's my dog outside. But look at that. Oh, this is a phenomenal. I love that. It's like my favorite product. Even in the mirror, I just look so glowy and summery. I love that for me. And even just profile shot, like, it looks so cool. I just don't like my eyes very much. I've done a better job eyeliner wise, definitely, but like, it's still wearable. Like, this is under part, it looks like it's smudged, but it's not. It's just the mascara. Yeah, I'm I'm nearly out of this mascara, so thank God. But it honestly hasn't been the best. But it's done the job. <laughs> it's done the job with what it has. And now I am going to powder my face. I don't have an extra brush for this, so I'm just going to wipe off the bronzing powder. This is very ghetto. So, there we go. I think that's enough. And I'm going to put on some setting powder, if it opens. Um, yeah, I've had this power, power powder for so long as well. And it's like nearly done. Like, you can see the silver stage of it. to your neck to blend it into your neck neck and last but not least some lip gloss. I need to get new lip gloss. I've almost ran out of this one, so been a great lip gloss, but I kind of want to get the one with the, with the stick. You can like dip it, but yeah, this has served me well. So I want to find something similar to this for my next lip gloss. put 
too much on my lips normalize messing up makeup tutorials and leaving it in the video oh brother and the eyes way too much let me just dab some off on like I don't know if you can see it but it looks a bit messy Okay, we're done. Not the best version of my makeup that I've done, but it's gonna work and I like the way it looks, so that's all that matters. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Alright.